I'm Alan Galbraith, head gasket at the Concorde de Limones. Today we're here at the California Automobile Museum to take a look at this DeLorean DMC-12. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, we'll take a look at it, then we're going to get this car out of the museum, out on the road, get it out to a couple of events and let people enjoy it. We're going to put this car back to the... on the road again. Now the DeLorean is named after and was conceived by John DeLorean. He was an executive at GM. He was rising up the ladder, doing really well, and was responsible for quite a few really cool cars at GM. Like the Pontiac GTO, and one of my personal favorites, the Cosworth Vega. DeLorean kind of didn't fit in at GM too well because he was really flashy and outgoing, had a lot of personality. Most of GM at the time was really buttoned down, really stayed, and he stood out. Eventually, he quit and founded his own company, DeLorean Motor Cars, and came up with this. DeLorean hired George Gigetto? George. George Gigetto? Giorgio Gigetto? George. Gigetto. Hold on. Giorgio. Giorgetto Giorgetto. The name isn't important. What you need to know is he designed a lot of really cool cars. Now, when this came out, it didn't look like anything else on the planet. Really cool design, very futuristic, stainless steel body panels. Now, DeLorean wanted this to be a sports car and reasonably priced. They even named it the DMC-12 because they wanted it to come in at $12,000 retail. It came in at almost twice that, which is about $80,000 in today's money. What's important is that it had a very futuristic design. We'll get to that in a minute. The development took longer than was expected, and by the time it came out, people were upset that it cost too much and it didn't perform. They had wanted to put a Wankel engine in it, that wasn't available, so they ended up with a Peugeot Renault Volvo V6 that put out a whopping 130 horsepower. Not exactly a sports car. Like I said, this looked like very few other cars on the road at the time. A nice sleek low design, very futuristic looking, and it had one really cool feature. Gull wing doors. Now this is about as 80s as it gets. Now another outstanding feature of the DeLorean is the stainless steel body panels, but you have to care for them a little bit differently than you do a painted car. DeLorean even provided a factory stainless steel care kit, which included special shampoo, leather interior cleaner, and stainless steel cleaning or a sealer, and some pads to scuff it. If you get a scratch in this, you just take the pad and scuff it up. The only downside is it does show fingerprints really, really well. Other than the fingerprints, it's really easy to care for. Unless you dent it, then you've got problems. There are spares, but they're expensive. Seemingly what is required if you own a DeLorean is to make some reference to the Back to the Future movies. We've had a chance to look it over, now let's take a chance to drive it.
but not that great. It's not too comfortable. It's cramped. I mean, granted, I'm huge. I'm six foot seven and 200 pounds. But if you're over about six one, you're gonna have a hard time fitting in here. The only reason I do is it's got this kind of gurney dent here in the in the roof. One thing it's not, it's not the sports car DeLorean sent out to design. Can you drive it quickly on a twisty road? Yes. Do you want to? Not really. The steering is heavy. The clutch is heavy. The shifter, the linkage is really long. I miss shifts all the time. The brakes are kind of wooden. At least the manual can get out of its own way. The automatics are really slow, but it still isn't fast. After a while, it's kind of not that fun to drive. So what is a DeLorean all about? Well, it's a stylistic and cultural icon. The movie saw to that and the backstory on the car. That's why you'd want to buy one of these if you do want to buy one. Prices are on the rise. It used to be a fairly affordable car, not anymore. You can find them on the specialty auction sites, but frankly, you're gonna pay a premium there. I'd go to eBay Motors. There's usually one or two for sale there at a fair price. If you're gonna get yourself a DeLorean, you need to get it because you're making people happy. Everyone loves a DeLorean. You'd have to be pretty grumpy not to like it. With that in mind, let's take it to Cars and Coffee and see the reactions to the car. I mean, every week you keep bringing out the coolest cars. I love this one too. <laughs> what do you think? I, I knew it was Can we really go back in time? I think we should. <laughs> I think the world would be a, a little better. <laughs> we all think. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's classic. What do you all think? She love thinks it. that you know, Back to the Future made this car what it is. It would have just been a quirky car otherwise. Yeah. It, it adds to the whole story. It does. You know, the, the, the failure, the cocaine, then yeah. the movie, right. you yep. know, it all adds up to something that's a lot better than the actual car. <laughs> but I think the car has enough unique qualities about it that it stands on its own. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Get the flux capacitor on AutoZone, or yeah. there you go. Yeah, <laughs> they're always out of stock when I look. So, oh, what do you guys think? It's good shape. Yeah, great. Yeah, no, it's a, it looks looks like it's cleaned up nicely and it's in all original shape. And it's a good looking car. Yeah. What do you all think? I love it. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Talking the original craftsmanship is original. It, it was it was not a well um, thought out uh, when they built it. It didn't um, the maintenance wise it wasn't that great. <laughs> the history of the car made the car. You know, like uh, all the 
everything DeLorean went through, like it had to sell drugs to the company. <laughs> What it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What you think? I like. Yeah? Well, yeah, of course. Who doesn't like it the Lord? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do y'all think? I like it, yeah. I like his DeLorean without all the other stuff, you know, doesn't attract that much attention, huh? Yeah. I like that little flux capacitor. What do y'all think? That's it's sick. All, That's dope. <laughs> yeah, I like the. What do you guys think? Oh, I guess. What do you guys think? Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to watch Back to the Future when I get home now. What do you all think? That's pretty cool. It's a cool car. You don't see too many of these in person. What you think? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Just like the movie. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. It's a pretty good look. Oh, it has the flux capacitor. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's sick. Yeah. How much did you get this for? Uh, it belongs to the California Automobile Museum. Oh, that's sick.